the story of uh, how I quit smoking. My name's Jim. I was sitting at home one day. I, I got home from work. I looked in the mail. I found the Glendale College Adult Education mm -hmm. catalog. And I was looking through it, and I've been smoking for most of my life, many years. I've been struggling with quitting smoking for a long time. And uh, I saw Stop Smoking with Self-Hypnosis in there. And I, I didn't think anything of it. I said $35 or $30. I don't really remember how much it was. And I, I wrote a check. And I figured, what, what do I have to lose? And I sent it off. And, you know, a couple months later, I got a uh, notification that I was due to take this, to go to this uh, seminar or for the Stop Smoking. That was in 2001. I, this is now 2010. I had no idea what to expect. I had a full pack of cigarettes unopened in my pocket. I wasn't planning on, on to quitting smoking that day that day. I didn't think I would. Um, I remember going, just going. I just went and um, it started off with, there was like eight people there maybe. I think so. Six or eight people and it's it was in a little, we had these little like junior high school desks, classroom. classroom desks and it was noisy outside I, I remember and um, it was uncomfortable and we started off uh, telling a little about ourselves, and Lisa talked talked about how the mind works, and she asked if anybody had any cigarettes with them, and I, <laughs> and I lied, and I said no, and we had a we learned how the mind works, and I, I believe me, I don't remember any of that now, but uh, it's been too long. It was a break, and and. Uh, I didn't think I was going to stop smoking, but I did. I put the cigarettes in the car. I, this, I, I think I did this on my own because I was feeling guilty for lying. And so I, I put them in the car. I didn't smoke a cigarette because I knew I'd smell like it. Like I just smoked a cigarette. Uh, went back in and there, I, there was a... The second part of it was uh, Lisa tried to hypnotize us. And... I don't, I don't know what that was like. I don't know if I was hypnotized or not. Anyway, it, it was noisy. There was kids playing outside. I was in this desk. I wasn't comfortable. And at the end of it, she, Lisa said, um, we, we got the tape to listen to. It was a cassette. And Lisa said, listen to it every day and get used to her voice. And, and I did. And... I got a little up. I, I, I didn't smoke. There were certain things I remember. Orange was something I was supposed to stop, not quit. Um, orange. I, I work in construction. My nail gun was orange. It was the color that that helped me because I had it with me all the time. And I was able to smoke any time at work. It didn't matter, but I didn't. Four days went by. I got in a fight with my girlfriend and she left her cigarettes there. I smoked four cigarettes. Like almost one after the other and the important thing here was every time before I ever did that I was I just gave up and this time I didn't and I haven't smoked since so that was like July 31st 2001 I haven't had a cigarette so self-hypnosis listening to that tape every day for 30 days I did it I got used to Lisa's voice I don't remember what went on in the middle of the in the middle of the tape, but I remember like relaxing and then it ending and I was awake. Great. So it was, it worked for me. It's like I tell everybody that anybody that wants to stop smoking to check this place out.